just like belt limits, man. Really, you can you, you can totally calculate it. Like it's it's easy, man. It's easy. Um, you just you just have to look at pipes more like belts, yo. Just like you can only fit 60 per minute on a Mark One belt and uh, you know 120 per minute on a Mark Two belt. It's the same deal with pipes, right? So if you take a little look at the coal generator. You can see right on up in it the maximum amount of water it's going to use 45 meters cubed yeah and a water extractor you can see is gonna extract 120 meters cubed per minute the one water extractor can feed two of these bad boys fully. That'll be 90 meters cubed per minute. You'll have an extra 30 left over from your 120. So you could fit um, quite a few of these guys on one pipe. Um, what, what I did to simplify this down, and there's so many ways you can do this, but the way I handled this, and this simplified it, like, so much for me, is I just simply used, like, a, I, I, I dubbed the manifold pipe. And this is, this is how I made this so much easier, because any other way you calculate this can be done. There's so many different ways you could do this. It requires a lot more calculation. So in my build, I did just exactly this. I attached every coal generator just like this. And so right here would be an inlet from one water extractor. Just imagine that this was hooked up to a water extractor. Imagine if you would, that that gas is water and that's, that pipe's sucking in that water gas and that is 120 per minute going in. That is gonna feed these three guys almost. These three guys together under full usage, which they'll never be at, but that's how you gotta plan. They are gonna use a grand total of like what? 135, is that, is that about right? 135 per minute. So more than you're taking in, but only just slightly. So what I do from here is I add another water extractor. Now see, this one's going to produce 120. These guys are going to use all of it and then some. This guy is going to add another 120, which will supply the last one. It'll fill in whatever is not making it there. And then you can just continue down the line. And with this design, you can continue on like this almost forever. I've got 34 generators hooked up like this to 14 extractors, and it works freaking perfectly. After a certain while of following this pattern, if you calculate the math every step of the way, you'll notice there's a buildup of surplus, which will eventually exceed the maximum volume of the pipeline. At which point, you just have to leave bigger gaps, you know? You'll just have to gap every two or three or four generators so you can let some of that pressure taper off and then add more. So that that is like, that is my ultimate how to water coal generator strategy because uh, again, you can do it in a, in a variety of different ways, but any other way you're going to have to like combine and split or underclock or have machines with reduced efficiency. There's there's just, you know, going to be or, or do some overclocking. I don't know. There's there's a lot of different ways you could you could handle that particular situation, but in my mind that that has got to be the simplest way to do it.